Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. The man of lawlessness, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and being gathered to him, we ask you, brothers and sisters, not to become as easily unsettled or alarmed by the teachings allegedly from us, whether by prophecy, by word of mouth, or by letter, asserting that the day of the Lord has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and he will exalt himself over everything that is called of God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Don't you remember that when I was with you, I used to tell you these things, and now you know what is holding him back, so that he may be revealed to the proper time? For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who holds it back will continue to do so till it take, is taken out of the way. And then the lawlessness one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. The coming of the lawlessness one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie. And all the way that the wicked deceives those who are perishing, they perish because they refuse to love the truth and so to be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie, and so that all will be condemned who have not believed in the truth, but have delighted in wickedness. So these verses are really important. What One, because it's talking about the Antichrist. So the Antichrist, uh, that was something that was talked about in Revelation, which we already read. And so that's something that hasn't happened yet or has not been revealed even to this day. Um, so no one knows who the Antichrist will be. Um, there's a lot of speculation, especially right now, with um, different things going on in the world that people think the time is coming. However, we should not be predicting when this will happen. It's going to happen when Christ decides it will happen. Um, so the Antichrist is going to be a deceiver, and will there will be a, a big lie that many people will believe. So this is something that may happen in our time. Uh, it may happen a thousand years from now. Uh, we have no idea. Um, but this is something that is predicted that will happen in the future. Stand firm. But we ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, loved by the Lord, because God chose you as his first fruits to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth. He called you to this truth through the gospel that you might share it in the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to these teachings we passed on to you, whether by word of, or mouth or by letter. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement as a good hope, encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. So those verses were to the Christians during that time from Paul, uh, but they also translate to now. Um, we can be strengthened and encouraged that God sent his son to pay for our sins. We are covered by his sin, or covered by his grace. And this is the gospel, that Jesus Christ is Lord. So it's a reassurance, and we should all have hope because of that fact, that there is a way, and he is the only way, truth, and life. So if you don't know him, 
Now's your chance. Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. If you want more information on how to accept Christ and what he did, or you want to know more about the story of Jesus, just let me know. Private message me. I'll let you know. Uh, give me any information you need, and we'll go from there. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible.